Hello everyone, Coin Collector here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the purchases that I made at the London Coin Fair yesterday. So for those of you who aren't aware already, the London Coin Fair is held in the um, Holiday Inn in Bloomsbury in London. And there's hundreds of dealers there, all coins from, from ancient coins, you know, Roman, Greek, all the way up until modern. Um, so I went there mainly looking for another silver hammered sort of coin, some more florins that I needed, and some pennies that I needed year-wise. So let's start with the florins at the top. So I needed some specific years, and one of the years that I needed was 1944. So this is 50% silver, this coin. So it's sort of like our constitutional equivalent, constitutional silver equivalent in the UK, although we don't get this in change anymore, unfortunately. So I needed 44, 43. This one's a bit more worn. And then 1937. This one is in quite nice condition, it's got some t weird toning going on. Looks like it might have been clean, well, like on the camera, but it, it hasn't, because there's no scratches. Just got some toning. Then a very badly worn, uh, I'm going to pick it up, there you go, coin from 1924. So this is still 50% uh, silver, sorry. Different design, obviously, compared to these ones. Then... Whilst I was at the same stall, I picked out a few other coins that I was interested in. Just a British East India Company coin, and a half anna. Not in the best condition, but it goes along with my British Imperial coinage collection. So from 1845, it's a bit worn there, the number four. Then we got some pennies, Victorian pennies that I needed for years. 1866, there's a lot of different designs. Um, I think like over 20 different designs for 1866, so I need to spend some time in actually figuring out which design this one is. Then we have an older one. So we've got an 1853 half penny here. You know, slightly different design on the back. Still got Britannia seated, then a rose at the bottom here. And there's Victoria. Um, and another half penny in nice condition, 1888. There you go, young head Victoria there. Um, then whilst I was at that stall, I found two other coins that were just interesting. Um, first of all, this one, which is pretty much completely blank on one side. But on this side, it's got the Russian imperial symbol. There's the two eagles and then the crown. Um, so it's from 1836, and this is a, what I believe to be a 10 kopeck coin from 1836 so this is the russians large silver uh, sorry large bronze equivalent of coinage and then the other one was some um, nazi germany silver coinage which they had in a pot and i thought i'd better get to get one I don't have any of these in my collection of this particular coin um so it'll just be interesting then the other two coin purchases individual coins that i made was this, 1797, Cartwheel two-penny coin. So if you've seen my video, I'll leave a link for it at the end of this description on the Cartwheel penny and half penny. I didn't, so I've got those, but I didn't have a two-penny before today. And now I do. If you look how thick that is. And it's very, it's one, it's the heaviest coin ever issued for British circulation. Um, copper with George III on. I might, I'll make a video on this at some point in the future. Um, I believe Silver Limey actually has done a video on this as well, so you can go check that out on his channel. Um, and then this was my favourite coin of the day. may not be in the best condition, but it's a Charles I shilling. So for those of you who don't know, shilling is an old English denomination, which means 12 pence. Um, most of these aren't, so most of the shillings from his period are actually pretty bashed up, as it were. Um, but you can clearly see, well, you can see the outline of a horse and Charles on course riding it. You've got the out uh, the inscription around the edge. Then on the other side you've got the mint mark, which is important because it tells you the date. And the shield. Um I think I believe this coin was actually minted whilst he was under arrest um, by Parliament. But um I'm gonna make a video on this at some point in the future. But it's about half an ounce of silver actually from about sixteen forty five. Um absolute bargain if you ask me. Great coin to have in your collection. Um, please comment down below if you're at the London Coin Fair. 
um, which coins are you looking to buy, if any, soon. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video.